Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be custom painting phone cases. And we're going to be painting them for each other. So it's actually Rayleigh and I's first video back on this channel for 2023, so I hope you all had a really good new year. Yeah, Ruby and I have been trying to get back into the school routine, and my new year was kicked off with year 13 mocks, so that was yeah. hard. And for anyone who's just had mocks, I hope it went well. Yeah, if you've gone back to school then you'll know what it's like, it's yeah. really tiring. <laughs> So, today in this video we're going to be painting iPhone cases for each other. So, I'm going to be painting one for Ruby and Ruby's going to be painting one for me. And it'll go the same with these two, so Mum will paint for Dad yeah. and Dad will paint for Mum. And, the style of painting that we're going to be doing is an inverted painting. So, we're using clear cases because we're going to be painting on the inside. And the reason behind that is it gives the whole thing a smoother finish and it means it doesn't rub off. For this video, we're free to use whatever design we want using this method. Yes, actually, I have to say that Jamie has been prepping the design have that he's been doing for me all morning. So I have got really high expectations, Jamie, on this. We haven't done any prep, but Jamie has. Uh -huh. I'm just going to go yes. with the flow. I'm just going to paint Ruby's face on it. Yeah. And phone case with your face on, with my like angel wings or something. I have got a few loose ideas, and by that I mean a general theme to stick in. So I want it to be relatively minimal. Maybe include the color navy blue because she's liking that color at the moment. Anyway, what I do know I'm gonna do is go on her Pinterest. I decided that I wanted to do something quite simple because I know that she wouldn't want that too much like going on on it. She said that she would like one of her favorite colors at the moment. It's like a really deep kind of dark red color. So I was like, okay, first thing that comes to mind is a rose. Jamie really likes 80s retro arcade games like Atari, Pac-Man, Space Invaders. And a few months ago, as a family, we created a really large canvas of street art. In our last video, Tracy really liked the bourbon biscuit idea. So I thought I'd go with something similar. So if any of you want to follow Ruby on Pinterest, her Pinterest is at realrubyrose UK. Now, she saves things pretty much the same as what I say. Very light, classic kind of stuff. So maybe I'm going to replicate that and I'm going to draw out a design. I've got an image inspo um, and it's basically just a rose and I'm going to do it almost like kind of pop arty because because I'm doing it inverted, I have to do the Posca first, which is the pen. I'm going to take a photograph from the original art piece, which is in our hallway, and then basically trace it out on the phone. I've chosen to paint pieces of chocolate. Everyone likes chocolate, and I think Tracy will like this because it's the same sort of theme as the biscuit. That's my design concept, and my idea is to make it really, really simple and minimal when I do it. I know it looks kind of complex on here, so very um, floaty and linear, so it's sort of like still kind of like a clear phone case, but just with a really pretty simple design on top. And this is my inspo photo. As you can see, it's got really thick black lines. This is gonna be a darker shade and so will the leaves. I'm not adding the hand, by the way. It'll just be this rose. So this is the original artwork, which we've hung in our landing on the stairs. And I'm going to take a photograph of a section of this and then transfer this on the phone. I've used this photograph, but I've redrawn the main sort of tonal differences so that the information that I have to translate onto the phone case is simplified. So that is the photograph that I've taken. I think you'll really love this because it's got the Space Invader theme on there and it's also an original piece of art that we all made together. So we have the green, we have the black, we have one of my favourite personal colours from this, the scarlet red. So I've got this blue, white and I've got black and I've got a mixing tin. I'm going to use the three primary colours like on the artwork which are red, blue and green. I'm also going to use a black Posca pen to do some outlines. The first thing I'm going to do is mix up the brown that I want then I'll be able to add white to make it lighter or black to make it darker. Because I'm going to do the Posca pen first because everything's inverted and I'll do the Posca pen and then I'll do the paint over it. Okay guys, let's start painting phone cases. I 
I have done the red paint on the rose, but now I need to do the green. It took quite a few layers to fully make it a matte color, I guess. This is what it's looking like. Thicker lines and thinner ones. I think the thinner ones really make it. So this is how it's looking so far with all the outline drawn out of the design. So as you can see, I'm just starting to describe all the forms with the colors and tones. What I'm doing is I'm flipping it around like that and then filling them in here against a white or a light background. Obviously the phone is white. So on a white phone, I think this could look really cool. The last thing I need to do is mix my three colors, red, blue, and green, and then painting all the colors from the inside. But all I need to do now is the green, um, and then I also need to touch up the Posca. I'm really happy with it so far. I hope Ruby likes it. So I am almost finished now. I'm really close to the end. I just gotta do a few more layers and then do a few more touch-ups and then I'm done. But I'm so happy with how it's going. I feel like it's gonna look so good. I think Rayleigh will like it a lot. So we're all back now and we are all finished. So we've got our phone cases under these white things that we took our materials in. Obviously we haven't seen each other's. No. I'm intrigued to know what Jamie's done. Like I say, he was prepping it all morning, so. Better be good. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, I am. I'm quite excited. I'm not gonna say anything about what I've done yet. I am. I'm really excited to see what everyone's done because there are four surprises here. Yeah, and Ruby finished first. She finished quite a while ago, actually. I, I really like that. I might yeah. have to keep it for myself. Oh, no, no, no. Nice. <laughs> this way to that way. Go that way to this way. Okay. This way to that way. This way to yeah. that way to this way. Okay, so this is Jamie's in three, two, one. There you go to the camera. And oh, space and Vader. Well, oh my goodness. That's, that's from the piece <laughs> of art. That's that piece of art. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is, yeah. is it that big oh, what is it called? That's so yeah. cool. That's such a good one. That's, that's so cute. really good. Oh, I love the little figurines in it. Let me show everyone. There you go guys, so that's what I did, um, and yes everyone, it was a photograph taken from the Art Swap Street Art, because it had Space Invaders in it, and we know Dad yeah. loves Space Invaders. Anything um, 80s games. These little yeah. figures in it are so cute, when that's you look so up cool. close. You know what Mum said to me about half an hour ago? Mine just rubbish, she didn't go right. What well, are you on about? It happened because, time. to be fair, what I was going to do was um, like paint the whole thing. But I didn't. Right. I let it some of it see through. Better like yeah. that. Because Dad's phone's red, but it's different tone of red. Oh. Actually, yeah. yeah. That'll be interesting to see how it looks on my phone. Because that's the thing you've got to think about when you're doing this is that what's the colour of the phone? Because it does right. change. Sometimes yeah. that's good, sometimes it's bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a close up, guys, of the design. And yes, it is taken from the painting that we did. Go and watch the video if you haven't seen it. And it's a street art Space Invader graphic. Very awesome. cool. There you go, Jamie. We'll Aww, show. We'll put them on much. the phones in a bit. I there love it. Go. It's my turn to show Ruby's. Everyone, turn. Okay, three, two, one. This is what it looks like, and that's. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so nice. I really like. I like the colours. I like the whole aesthetic. Should I hold it for people while you? Talk that was about. the. Concept. I really like it. Like I really like it. You did? Yeah, I like yeah. you did well with the colours and you did well with all of the I think it's cute and like you know what I mean? Like, I was really worried about that. <laughs> no, it's nice. Well done. I will use that actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a close-up of my case. As you can see, it's supposed to be a butterfly. It's got a lot of different tones of blue in there. And yeah, it took quite a while to do, but I freehanded it. You know what I just realised? I was looking at this, you know how one side's got that? Yeah this swirly thing. The other side is probably going to have a camera there so it will like fit it. Yeah, <laughs> which is quite cool. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's like Christmas again. Ruby's turn. Three, two, one. So this is mine. I'm really happy with it. You ready? Oh, 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 I really like that. Gosh, I, had to look. I really like that. That is so sophisticated. My goodness, that is amazing. Gross. See, that's the type of thing that I'd actually use because I don't like complicated yeah i literally yeah. said that to the camera yeah yeah um it's wow. a rose but i i got an inspo on yeah. on google and it was quite bright pop arty looking one and i wanted to dull it down to colors i thought you'd prefer it's perfect because it's a rose from ruby rose you can 
Yeah. It looks good like like this, but when you put it on white, I feel like it really pops because obviously it's black lines, so it's hard to see until you put it on there. My phone's white. Exactly. So that'll look really good. Thank I'm you. I'm actually, I finished it. I was like, oh, that didn't even take that long. Thank you. Oh, well, well done. done, Ruby. Okay. So me last. Okay. So I'm absolutely intrigued now. This better be good, Dad. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a classical painting. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate. That's really cool. Chocolate. That's really no, good. No, I'm not even looking. That's, that's so good. good. That, that made so me hungry. Good. No, when you look at it from afar, it looks like a oh, proper thing. See, I couldn't have that on my phone case because it made me hungry all the time. Wow. wow. It fits you just right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Thank so you. This, this was because the previous video that we did, I did a bourbon biscuit. Do you remember? Yes. And you really liked that. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to do something quite similar. Please use a lot. It's quirky. Yeah. yeah. Your phone's blue as well. It is. So it it looks nice. nice so, it? so this is what it looks like on white close up. It's pretty straightforward in terms of what it is. Be interested to see what it looks like on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I do. You go, can see them on phones. Okay. Time to put them on our phones. And I've cut out some kind of. These are just out of plastic sleeves, so you can seal it with kind of Mod Podge or PVA and water, but. We're just going to use these, just kind of cut them to size and put them there just so it protects it from your phone. So if you use these, presumably you don't have to seal it with Mod Podge? No, I don't think so. No. The function of these versus the Mod Podge, the Mod Podge keeps the design on, so you mm. probably still should. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is to protect the materials from your phone. So you don't get it on your phone? Yeah, yeah. You just put it over. Okay, okay so we'll uh, put them on and show you guys what they look like. Go girls. And boys. And boys. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh wow! <gasps> that looks so oh lovely! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that. really <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so that is mine on the phone. It looks awesome and very quirky. Thank you, Jamie. You're very welcome. This is mine on the phone. I think it looks really, really cool. I love how the dark red looks on the white. I definitely love the colour red. That looks nice. This is something I'd save on Pinterest. Yes, I am. So this is what mine looks like. I really love the way it looks on the white background. I think it really brings out all the blues. I really like it. It looks Thank awesome. And uh, this is mine. I really love the way it fits with the red of my phone. And it reminds me of that time that we did this massive street art painting together. Mm. Do you remember? Yeah. 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 So, these are our final painted phone cases. I think they all look really, really cool. I love them. I really like them all. I think they're also different. But they are, they are. They really suit the people. And also, they suit the people who did them. Yes, yeah, they do. Hopefully, guys, we've given you lots of ideas between the two videos of how you can paint your own phone cases. Yeah, we all took very different approaches. Yeah, we definitely did. Anyway, that is all for this video. We really hope you've enjoyed. And we will see you all in our next video. Bye! Bye!